Hello Elmo Kids, it's Miss Uriah here for my last children's message to you. I want to talk to you a little bit more about Paul and his letter to the Ephesians. And this week we're studying chapter 2. Now Paul knew if the Philippian church was going to stay strong in the Lord, they would need to live as Jesus lived. So often in life we want to be first at everything. First in line, first to be chosen for a team, first to be called on when our hand is up first to be served food at a meal, and first to buy toilet paper at the grocery store. Our sinful and selfish nature makes us want to think of ourselves first, and then we remember to think of others later. Paul knew that as humans, we're often this way. So in Philippians 2, Paul tells us, don't just think of yourselves, think about each other. Be humble, take care of other people as if they were more important than you are. Paul reminds us that Jesus is the very best example of this. He came from heaven to earth and became human to take on our punishment and for all of mankind. Even though he was perfect, never committing any sin of his own, he was the son of God who had done nothing wrong, and yet he was convicted as a criminal and crucified for us. Jesus was thinking more about us. God's beloved children in creation than he was about his own pain, hardship, and suffering. God's only son gave up all the glory in heaven to be humbled and to be born as a baby just to be our savior. It's this kind of love, this kind of humility, and this kind of selflessness that we need to try to live out in our own lives. In Philippians 2, 3 through 5, it says, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit, but in humility consider others better than ourselves. Each of you should not only look to your own interests, but into the interests of others. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus. So right now, in the middle of coronavirus, we're wearing gloves and masks, and we do that to take care of the restaurant workers and the grocery store clerks, and all the people in our community that need to stay healthy and strong. People like doctors and nurses who need to work in hospitals. And we wash our hands to keep our own families safe and clean and free from germs. We stand six feet apart from people when we're out in public. We do that to show our respect and to show them that we care about their health and well-being too. So my challenge this week is instead of being so bummed, about all the ways we have to social distance right now. Think about how can we best serve the other people in our community? What can I do to care for others and think about them even more than myself? What can I do for my parents, my brothers, my sisters, my neighbors, anyone in our community to be putting their needs before mine? My prayer for you is, Lord, help us grow in our desire to be more and more like Jesus to consider others more important than ourselves, and to live the way that he wants us to. He was the greatest example of love and sacrifice. We want to be more like him every day. Bye, kids.